Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Warren Bennett. We've got Trev still mooching around the garden somewhere. There he is, still munching on the twigs. And if you've seen any of my videos previous in the channel, you would have heard me probably say that find the one thing that cures for. Now what I mean by that is find the catalyst, find the one thing that can help other things. So it saves you having to work on all those other things. Hopefully you're finding the reason why. Now this is a really great one, very simple. Um, something that you can take out into the golf course straight away and obviously work into your game through practice too. So I'm going to make sure Trev's out of the way, which he is, get the front camera set up and we'll see you in a bit. Okay everyone, so I've got a 9 iron here and I'd recommend you do the same, especially if it's something new. Um, it's always easier to hit something with a bit more loft and obviously take a little bit more pace off as well. So a lot of people I've played with in the past, which is a lot of club golfers, is one fault I see is their elbows get too far away from each other, especially on the backswing. Now, if you drag your elbow inside and around, and obviously this is too much for it, it's pretty extreme, so I'm doing it for kind of effect more than anything, you're gonna have an extreme hard time, if not impossible, to come down to the ball as you want it, with a bit more pace and a bit more speed, correct path. Right, so on the backswing to start with. So you're obviously trying to create some width here. You're not just letting your elbows get close to each other by just cheating. Remember, there's a right and the wrong way to do everything. So you're getting your left elbow, left arm away from you, but you're keeping your elbows, both arms, but you're keeping your elbows together as much as you can. So you can see the distance between my elbows there from the front view, and on from the behind view, you can see it's pretty similar. You're not letting this right elbow go behind you, because if it does, you're in a whole load of trouble on the way down here. Remember, you're trying to give this club the best chance to drop into the slot under a bit of speed here without you knowing about it. So on the backswing, you're looking for a little bit of width, elbows close to each other, and to create a little bit of length, you're looking for this little hinge, you see. But keeping your elbows together will naturally give you a little bit of hinge too. If I just pull my right elbow behind me, there you go, I've kind of got this kind of no hinge look. Obviously, seriously extreme there. So you're looking for the opposite. So keep your arms away from you, elbows in tight. Now on the way down, the other thing by keeping your elbows together is it will naturally create a little bit of lag. So, the, so that you can see the angle between my, my left arm or both my arms there and the club shaft. It's giving me a chance to get some lag into my swing. If I pull my elbow away from me, under speed this club's just going to want to throw. Well, again, obviously exaggerating the extreme there. So keeping that elbows together can solve those two things. Naturally a bit of width here with my elbows together, naturally a bit of lag. And from here, allowing my elbows to stay close to each other, that's going to help my release. That's going to help my release. Obviously I'm going to kick my right knee in just to help. But remember, people who chicken wing probably come over the top and hold on to it. So there's your lack of speed. And there's, there's your slice too. So, make, so keeping your elbows together, so doing this little practice swing here. So half swing to half swing. Look how tight they are. Right, let's hit some balls doing that. And I'd encourage you to do the same, we'll just practice swings, but we're just gonna do half swing tight, half swing tight. Look how close that is. It's not a distance exercise. Head nice and still. And you're looking, I've only hit that 72 yards. You can see there's no distance in that at all. So you're just trying to create a little bit of kind of tightness there with my arms, back into impact, tightness with my arms. Nice and light, everyone. I'm hardly holding onto the club there. I wish you could feel how light that is in my arms. But I'm really feeling like there's kind of a string or some rope between my forearms there. It's about as far as I can go. Completely opposite to the chicken wing, which is like my elbows are too far apart there. Remember, start small, start light. Gives you the awareness time. Doesn't have to be perfect. That was a little bit fat. Really feel, it's gonna feel, if you've got an element of this chicken wing, an element of this backswing, it's gonna feel absolutely dreadful. You're not gonna know what planet you're standing on. And that's the good thing about doing any exercises. Don't worry about the result. Just stand there, let the ball get in the way. Let the club swing. Nice and light with my hands, hardly holding on. Probably a one or a two. Okay, nice and light really close together, really close together. So this is my last half swing, then I go on to a fuller swing. Half swing, half swing, just clip it. Head nice and still, let the arms do the work and let the body follow. So I know for a fact that a few pros do this. They have that thing that stangles down and 
it kind of goes between their forearms, isn't it? And they hit balls. And what they're doing there, obviously connecting their arms and body. A lot of you over the toppers don't really need the body bit. You kind of just need your arms to follow and let the, need your arms to swing and let the body follow, I mean. You're more the elite golfer who probably the hooker of the ball will probably need a little bit more rotation to go with those arms as well. But mainly it's keeping these elbows really close together, if not feeling like they're getting closer throughout the swing. Okay, this is going to be exaggerated. But I'm going to really try and feel like my elbows are getting closer. Top of the back swing and through. You can really see the release there. It's obviously too much, but I like I always say to anyone I teach is just introduce a little bit and layer it into your golf swing a little bit. So obviously I don't suffer from the chicken wings. That's easier for me to do this. So I get that if this is going to be harder for you. And if it is something that you do suffer from, getting your elbows away and your arms away from each other, this is obviously going to feel a bit weird. But doing it nice and softly, nothing too heroic right now. And it's going to feel very strange, obviously. But you're here to kind of make some changes, small changes and allowing the club just to do the work for you. Statement I just said there. You're allowing the club to do the work for you. But to do that, let's get your arms in the correct position for them to be a bit more efficient, a bit more educated. If I start moving them around there, I'm gonna to have to do any compensations from there. So you're looking for your arms. The closer you can get to your elbows together, the easier it is for you to swing the club. Nice and soft. Hit that out the toe. Remember, I'm not really going at it here. I'm exaggerating it. And then kind of if you get to the first tee and you don't actually have to think about that too much. You just layer a little bit into your golf swing don't have to go mad. Remember in practice, forget about the result, especially hitting, hitting into a net. This is where it's really good hitting it into a net because you kind of can work on the mechanics a little bit more instead of trying to work on trying to hit the perfect shot all the time. That kind of gets people sucked into getting back into their old habits again a little bit too much. So elbows in everyone, the elbows in can be a great one to solve, you know, backswing problems, getting the club a little bit more in the slot, a little bit wider. It can solve a bit of lag coming down or can help a little bit of lag because if I keep my elbows like my elbows like that, you can see probably from the front view, my right elbow is under my left. It's very hard to keep my elbows together and throw it like that. It doesn't really want to work. It's only if it's kind of this right side gets a bit dominant under speed. So remember, it can solve all these things. A bit of lag and then from here, I'm trying to just get my club to pass me. If I'm a slicer of the ball and my elbows are staying really together so it helps with the swing and the release and then it can obviously help with path too but it really helps with the golf swing instead of trying to if you're one that's kind of creating too much effort and not a lot of reward and then kind of let it go a little bit so you don't actually need a club you can just do it at home on your own and you're going to feel like these elbows are kind of you can really exaggerate it doing it that way. Remember, you're not cheating by bending them. You're kind of keeping the left arm a little bit of width there away from you. But you're really feeling, especially in the follow through, you're really getting these elbows close to you. It's a really fantastic one to help other areas of your golf swing. Now, if it's something that you've done in the past or, or if it's helped you, I'd love to hear from you. Or if there's any comments on this video, please do so in the comment section below. And I'd love to hear from you. So if this is a video and a channel that you think you can get some benefit from from your golf, I'd love to have you along as a subscriber because like I said in previous videos, the channel's here for you to learn. And not every video is gonna to talk to you, but I'm here to kind of give you a general overview of the golf swing and your golf swing and for you to understand. Because when you're out in the golf course on your own, it's quite a long time, isn't it? And if the wheels start going off, you wanna try and get that back quite quickly. So I'd love to have you along as part of the community. So thank you very much for everyone's support and I really appreciate it because as you can see, I'm not in the perfect setup. I haven't got my academy where I used to be, but hopefully it's the, it's what I'm saying is the most important thing, not where I am. So thank you very much everyone. So thank you for myself and Trev, who's decided to have a little wander into the house and we'll see you on the next one. Let's hope it's sunny like it is now. So from myself, and Trev, have a great golfing week, stay healthy on and off the golf course, and we'll see you next time. Cheerio.